Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy. Welcome back to another Dr. G show. This is where I promote love and I push healthy relationships and positive thinking. I'm just doing this response this video to Oxamides. Um, I keep doing your thing. Let me just shout you out. Um, you see, um, this is a question you got from one of your viewers. Um, I just want to go. He says, a man hurting for so long and this woman has been in this relationship and his feelings that as though he can't really help her she can't you know she can't really help him you know she's suffering, he's suffering from anxiety attacks and all the rest of it um, I'll, I'll leave the video in the link below so that way you guys can watch the video and see more of what they're talking about but I just want to go straight in and I want to say this to anybody anybody that's in a relationship Time wait for no man. I'm gonna say that again. Time waits for no man. I'm a man that believes that love is something that grows. I'm a man that believes that love is something that progress. It does it doesn't stay in one place. It grows, it progresses, it becomes something beautiful. And when you're with somebody for five years, you know, you've been with this person for five years, you should know where you're going. You should know where you wanna end up. You should know exactly what you want out of life. And sometimes we meet crossroads in our lives and we hold people in our lives because we don't know um, how or what to do because we're going to end up hurting someone. You know, it, making a difficult decision sometimes based on who we are as a person. What I will say to you, in that situation, you know, um, he's a wonderful man, you said, and, and he, he he's because of his past... I want to say to you sometimes, some people, some men, ain't even ready for a serious relationship. Some men are in relationships by accidents. Some men are in, in relationship because of excuse of being alone. They don't want to be alone. But they, before you get into a serious relationship, or before you actually uh, deal with a relationship, you got to be able to heal yourself. Why should I be a burden to somebody else? Why should you be a burden to me? You have to look after yourself. You got to love yourself enough to know that you can deal with yourself first. You know, I always say, seek help. Okay? If you got a problem that you're going through and you feel as though you can't solve the problem, seek help. And until you rectify that problem, it's not fair for you to bring that burden, to bring that issue to somebody else's life when they can't even help you. And, they, you know, you're looking for, you know, to rectify the problem. The other thing is, I will say to you, the time concept is that you should have known where you want to be, um, where you want to end up within the first two years. Exactly with the person. Five years, you should know where what you want from this. And if you can't see yourself in a mind frame to actually be with that person, it's time for you to make some serious decisions. It's not easy to make serious decisions, but these decisions will make him understand that, hey, it's becoming too much for me. As much as I love you and as much as I care for you, I can't see myself in that situation where I am being a hero. You know, the only God is a hero to every mankind. We cannot be God. You know, we're just humans, mortal humans, that we can only do as much as we can with the resources we have. So, you know, so I would say to anybody, you know what I mean, based on this uh, video, I'm only making this response. No matter if he's going through, you know, he's been through so much in his past. The other thing to forgiveness, I'm going to just drop this in there. He needs to seek forgiveness from his parents and forgive somebody, let go of something. And that's what it is. Sometimes we carry baggages for so long, for so much years, and we drag it along and end up and put it right into something that's good, something that is we have, this relationship that we have today. So I'm going to say this to anybody that's going through a situation similar to this. That person that you've been with and they seem like there's no progress. You're in the same round and round, merry-go-round no okay it's time for them to wake up and make serious decision if the man cannot handle this decision or the woman cannot handle this decision it's about you knowing where you want to end up for the rest of your life it's your boy dr g and remember this i can only tell you this positive thinking bring positive outcome make that positive step to move forward you know love is is a two-way thing and he has to understand it, it is not just one way with all the strain on one shoulder for somebody else you know 
in that in the relationship it goes both ways both of you should be pulling each other encouraging each other and knowing that you can work through the storm no matter how wonderful somebody is if they're not making no progress in your life if there's no way you're going forward there's no future being built there's nothing being gained sometimes you just need to stop pushing and let go it's your boy dr g you just tuned into another dr g show Subscribe to my channel, click like if you like this video, and subscribe and tell somebody about my video and to my channel. I'm gone.